guess who's back? That's right. doing some chores this morning first time since let's see monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday There's 11 days that is crazy whoo i tell you <clears throat> those first those first five six days I think I felt worse then than I did when I had Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever last year. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. That felt pretty darn rough. The geese are out and about this morning. They see me. They probably don't recognize me. They're like, there's an intruder over there. Sound the alarm, sir. But I am back. Thank you guys so much for everything. You see, I got my long sleeves on, got my hat on, I even got my collar flipped up. Make sure I don't get, I don't want my neck to get burn up yeah he was dr park was adamant that i stay out of that during sun so that's what i'm that's what i'm trying to do stay out of it or cover up per se i can stay covered up whoo, whoo. first thing i noticed is the sunflowers they are just amazing we drove by them but i haven't actually walked over there into them which i'm going to do because i'm going to check out the flower farm and everything today uh super excited i'm going to love on all my babies that's right. I may even love on you guys. <laughs> well, I see. I see Jojo and Top this morning. What's up, guys? Don't see Moon Man yet. I need to check their water. Brooke brought this water down here, which is fine. Which is great, but you can see the ducks again in it. So, you can clean this thing out. And 15 minutes later, it's going to be disgusting because the ducks can get in it. The other one's taller and they can't get in it. Speaking of ducks, good morning, men in black. Thanks for dirtying up the water for me. Appreciate that. Now, Brooke told me she was having a little bit of trouble with Moody and the boys and their feed situation. But I think it's just the way I do it. I don't, have anything, I don't think I actually have anything to do with her. I think it's just the way I feed it because I get Moody first, get him away, then I come over here and give the boys a scoop. Now, when Moody does finish, he does go over there to the boys, but typically the boys are pretty much done when he gets over there, so. I think, I think that's what it is. But let's get him here going. I might have to call Moo Man and get him up here. <coughs> All right, I got Moody's feed ready with some minerals and salt. I got the boys' feed ready with their minerals and salt. And let's see if we can get this happening there. And let's see how it goes today. I see their bowls back there, which is fine. We'll sit their bowl right here. This is typically when I would race Moody, but he is not up here. Let's see if I can get him to come. Well, there he comes. Look at there. Speaking of the devil. Moody! Moo Daddy! What are you doing? Come on, sir! Come on, boy. What are you doing? You big galoot. Yeah, we're going to get your flies taken care of, man. Yeah, we're going to get you. All right, there you go. There you go, big daddy. All right, now let's go down here. And let's get the boys. See, it's just a time of thing. Got to be quick. Got to be quick. Come on, boys. And I think, too, you guys know I put the boys' feed in the same bucket and just let them share it there you go there you guys go I said they share pretty good as soon as I say that that happens they do pretty pretty well and then when I had two buckets they were constantly going back and forth and back and forth so with one bucket to me that don't seem to happen that much yeah, and I ended up going to my regular Dr. Moody on, uh, get your bow fixed. On Thursday. 
And he ran all kind of tests on me. And everything came back good, like nothing was wrong with me, you know. So, he was like, let's order a chest x-ray. Did the chest x-ray, and lo and behold, there was the pneumonia. Didn't show up in the blood work. Couldn't even hear it when you listen to my lungs with a stethoscope, you know. Put me on some high power antibiotics. So crazy that I can't get in the sun now. Yeah, we're getting you flies off of it. But hey, here we are. All better, right? Took my last pill, my last antibiotics for the pneumonia. I took it this morning and I'm done. Over. Zilt. No more. And I do feel way better. I really do. Even my cough is starting to go away. Um, that has been the lingering thing when I started feeling well was the cough was still there but it's starting to go away too so the cough's gone the fever's gone I feel great um, I still don't have a whole bunch of energy like I normally do but all in all everything is a-okay what's up buddy hmm what are you doing buddy hmm what are you doing you miss me hmm you miss me come on Oh yeah, nugget. You need some, brother. You ain't resting nobody while I'm down. out and about having. Huh? You ain't resting nobody. I've been reading the car kill news and hadn't seen anything pop up, any arrest or anything, so I guess it's been going alright. Oh, you guys got plenty in here. I was like, maybe y'all need some, but y'all got plenty. Yeah. See, I took my last antibiotic today. So I think, I think I'm on the mend now, buddy. I feel good. Today's the best day I've felt so far. By far the best day I've, you know, best I've felt. Um, yesterday I felt pretty good, but my energy level was pretty low. My energy level seems a lot better today. How you been doing? Everything been going all right? Hmm? Yeah, I'm good though. Yeah, I'm gonna be good. I'm fine now. I'm on the up. I'm on the up. Just gotta stay covered up. You know, can't, can't, uh, can't get out in the blazing sun. Wear a sun hat, long sleeves, long pants. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't want to go back. I don't want to end up in the hospital, buddy. Yeah, that's for sure. How are you? I'm, I'm much better. Good. Much better. You still got to take it easy. I know. How's the demon turkey? Oh, goodness. What do you think? What do you think happened? Uh, I think she's probably still evil, but she's sitting on the eggs, so she'll hatch them out. Let's go look. Okay. Well, hello, demon turkey. I hear her hissing. But she was right here. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. I'm gonna come by you. All right. All right, so I came in here the day at yesterday. Yeah. And she wasn't sitting on the eggs. Uh -huh. So I separated them. Okay. I put two in this box that she was in. Okay. And left two in that one in case she went back. So you can see there's nobody sitting on these. Crayons. All right. All right. Well, here's a chicken, here. but the chicken is not who was broody, right? Right. So there's an extra egg. So you know that one's been freshly laid. There's a crayon mark. And there's a crayon. And mark. there's a crayon mark. So the right? four eggs, she's not sitting. On. She's not sitting on. It should look like there is an egg under. There's chicken eggs under her, but that's not the ones that that. Oh, Scott. I'm gonna wait on him. There you go. Oh, now. That's not the ones that I put under her to hatch. And I can't just let eggs accumulate in here. Yeah, not with her going back and forth. And not going back and forth. I, I can't have these eggs being fertile and then, you know, take them in for us to eat. Yeah. 
that's why I put the marks on them. But she obviously doesn't doesn't want to hatch them out too bad because she got out of the box, out of the box, and into another box. So she has swapped boxes three times. That's right. I guess get those eggs up, don't you think? I mean, I just don't know what to do. She's not going to sit on them. Oh, she's getting ready to strike like a rattlesnake. She is. Can you see her eggs up under her? I saw one earlier. It looked like an Imogene egg. It was blue. Well, I gave her an Imogene egg. Mm -hmm. And that didn't satisfy her. Maybe so. she said she don't want one with crayon marks on it. Well, she's out of luck because... <laughs> <laughs> we got to mark them. We got to mark them. Because you see what happened. There's a third egg in that box. Yeah. And if I didn't mark them, then I would be taking the wrong one. Right. Girl, you are a no hope. I'm going to get those eggs. You start figuring out what you... You no are. matter what you say, I've got to get those eggs. Look. Oh, it's several. Four. Girl. She's like a machine gun. She hurts, too. All right, so she's got four eggs. Two Bantam, an Imogene, and a who knows. But I can't I can't continuously let her swap boxes and... Yeah, I agree. I guess I'll leave the marked ones in here. Leave the marked ones in here. Leave the marked ones in here and just see. Why don't you put one of those marked ones under there right now? Two of them. Yeah. Two of them. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Somebody said that, that I should put a tin can over her head. Well, she's so fast, there's no way I could have time to get her. Yeah. Now, I could wear gloves. You could wear gloves. But. What I would do is I'd do just like that. I'd be quick, just as fast as her, see? Well, I'm glad you're back. Yes. Because you can do that. <laughs> Girl, you don't want you don't want none of these hands. Yeah. No, she wants. Those, like that. <laughs> All right, oh, girl. Oh, mean thing. Yo, yeah. heathen. See, I mean, she's nice as she can be. Oh yeah. And I'm getting. No, she's gonna strike you from over here. Now I'm not getting that one. The turkey from Hades. And I'm not here getting she comes. That. There she comes. She, look, she don't want me messing with her friend. Look, she's like, what is wrong with you? She's crazy. <laughs> what yeah. are you? Are you okay, she, Ursula? She's that neighbor you avoid. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her face. Mm-hmm. Well, she's not messing with the t with the chicken. No. Just me. Look at the chicken. Oh, what? She, she's getting her feather. <laughs> she's trying to build her a nest. She is trying to build. She's her gonna nest. sit on Ursula's eggs. Here. Want a feather? Oh goodness. Oh, I have goodness. a feeling if I if I got her a chick. Yeah. She'd kill it. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't try that. You know, there, so there's aggressive. some that you can tell their temperament. That, yeah. But you she's know, so aggressive that I just don't want to take that chance. She's a strange bird, isn't she? Very strange. Yeah. You don't do that, do you? No. What's up, Corny? Here you go, Scott. Come on, Emma Jean. Come on, y'all. There's a... Uh, that's Tina Turner right there, coming. Hello, Emma Jean. Pearl. There's Ono. Here comes Ruby and Rhonda, the nice turkeys. Yeah. I see, um, I don't know which is which. Ruby or Rhonda lost her tail. So did. That probably evil turkey took it out. <laughs> probably so. Yeah. Tail at my egg basket. That's beautiful. Isn't it <laughs> He had improvised. Yep. Beautiful egg basket. Hey, Tommy. Tommy! There you go. He's stay in that chicken coop. She took them in there. Look at them. Look how big they're getting, y'all. They are huge. And yes, if y'all don't listen to the podcast or watch our reels, um, the little light-colored one did come up missing. Uh, no idea what happened. But the other ones are so much more camouflaged that uh, it's not really shocking that that one came up missing. But those four are doing awesome. No issues at all. And they're getting so big. And she's keeping them here, as you can see. They were inside that coop. So she's keeping them really, really close by now instead of keeping them off in the woods like she did when they were wee little. Now I guess she thinks they're big enough where if a chicken or something tries to, to pick at them that... Uh, they can hold their own. Right off the bat, y'all look at 
our new green stalks aren't they beautiful look at here starting to fill out and lush up look at the purple basil and the rosemary down here we got some mint and there's some thyme looking gorgeous and i'm loving the black green stalk i just love the way this thing looks it's gorgeous <clears throat> look how the greenery just pops on it and these guys are still moist from the little bit of rain showers we've been getting which i'm being grateful for and these are those cuttings i took off the roses on the side of the road look how beautiful they are now these check these out these are cuttings because i've been keeping my um i'm trying to i might have to go cut some more today but i'm trying to keep my um climbing pinky uh cut back and every time i cut it i take the cuttings dip them in the root hormone and then put them in here and so far now these didn't make it this one did I got this one that's turning brown on me, so this one may not make it, but I got six. They are looking great. But let's go look at the roses out here. Now, I want to show you guys something. Now, Miss Martin, a fan of the channel, sent me this thing here. And I've seen them before. And you kind of think they're like a fad or, uh, you know, some type of infomercial you see. And they don't really work well. So far, y'all, I've been using this for my roses. And it is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm not gonna lie now i don't know how long these strips last but i think they do pretty good they're elastic so they got some gift to them is what you want when you're training something like this but um let me show y'all look here let's see here this one right here right here let's get this one on here now watch this now she gave me this as a gift so i'm not quite for sure where it all came and i'm trying to do it one-handed but I got it wrapped around there. Click it. Look at there. Boom. And it is so fast. I mean, I can come out here and start training these roses. And it's just wham, bam. Just boom, boom, boom. It's so awesome. Um, but everything looks good. I've been trying to keep it down to four main trunk lines. And that's what I got going on now. Now, you may see it looks like more than four of us. They're, they're coming off my four main trunk lines. And this rose is starting to take off. Uh, this this side may be pretty pretty good and covered a good bit come October, y'all. And I'm not gonna lie. Now I know Brooks taking y'all out here several times since I've been sick, but this is my first time actually getting this close to it and just being in the middle of the gorgeous sunflowers that have came up. Aren't they gorgeous though? Man, they're gorgeous wow whoo i love them love them love them love them I was uh sick i did do a lot of sitting <laughs> in the camper pretty much for for nine or ten days there it seems like um i went ahead and ordered my fall and winter garden order from Hoss, and we'll go into all that in great detail later on this week about what we're planting, how we're doing it, and that kind of thing. But we are gonna have a fall garden this year versus that we didn't have a summer and sp or spring and summer garden um, for various reasons, as you all, you all know. But this year, this year we're gonna have a fall garden. That is my plan. And if you guys, you know, you're thinking, dude, it's, it's the middle of summer. What are you ordering your fall garden seeds for? pretty darn close y'all we are in zone 8a so just say zone 8 now's the time to be thinking about your fall garden especially, especially if you were like in zone 7 then you really need to be thinking about your fall garden um if you're in zone 9 you maybe could wait a little bit longer but for us now is getting really close to getting your seeds here because just think just say roughly average four to six weeks for your seed starts to go in the ground if you're starting by seed so we want to get in the ground usually around mid of october to the end of october uh there's some things that we will plant in november and we'll get into all that when we start planting and i'll start making seeds but for the most part now's the time to start seriously thinking about what you're wanting to plant in your fall garden 
It really is. And get those seeds ordered or close to or 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 start planting it and getting them ordered in the next week or two. Um, and again, I'll go over what we're going to do here next week or this upcoming week. And when the seeds come in, we'll go in more detail about what we're doing and all that. So you guys stay tuned for our first for real garden here on Cog Hill. This is a roller. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. I saw her. Look at her flipping. Look at her flip. Good gracious alive. That's pretty cool, Mary yeah. Carl. That is pretty darn cool right there now. This is by far the most I've done since I've been well, uh, or since I've been getting better, I should say. Uh, Brooke says I gotta don't do too much, so I'm trying not to do too much because I will overdo it. Me and Moody want to run play, but Moody, I've been told I gotta hold up. You know, give me a couple of weeks. I'll be back. I don't want to relapse. I dang sure don't want that mess again. But hey, it was good to be back today, Moody. It was good to be back. Mm -hmm.